Hi, I'm Dr Chris Moore and I'm the Program Lead for the Undergraduate Degree in Biomedical Science at UE Bristol and this quick teach is going to be to show you how to use course calendars within Blackboard to make assessment calendars for your module but also for students to be able to not only use the course calendar within Blackboard but make better use of them in Outlook. So let's jump straight in see what it's about. So here I have a course calendar already up on one of my modules on Blackboard. The way that staff can create a course calendar is either by going to the course tools and then going down to course calendar just here and this is a view that students can't see. The other way you can do it is by clicking on the plus icon at the top and this is if you want to make it something that sits on the main menu and type in assessment calendar and then you choose the tool that you want. And in this case, it would be the calendar. Now I'm not gonna take available to use this for now. So that would put the assessment calendar in there. It provides a way of students jumping straight to it. So if I click on that, it takes us straight into the same view. The other place that you can put this, which is where I have done so, is in the assessments. And then I've put the assessment calendar here so that they can refer to it because that's mainly what it's for. The course calendar within Blackboard is independent from their teaching timetable and therefore the two aren't integrated and so course calendars won't show classes that they've got unless you've put them on the course calendar as bespoke events but again because it's not integrated with timetabling systems it won't show up if any live changes happen to their actual teaching timetable. So here I've got uh, quite a number of events actually none of these are classes all of these are assessments. Now my module does a continuous practical portfolio there are four mini things for them to do each fortnight that should take them no longer than 20 minutes for each one. It builds up marks throughout the year. And what I used to have is students get used to the pattern. So they'd know when things became available and when they disappeared and what they needed to do to access various parts of it. But as more modules adopt this way of assessment, as more assessments come in in general and more things for students to remember to do, it actually becomes quite difficult to manage when does this quiz become available and all that sort of thing. Now they don't appear on the student administration team records as things that require a submission. Therefore the system won't remind them that they have to submit something like a traditional piece of coursework, like an essay. And so having these little bits and pieces to do can be sometimes unwieldy. And so what I decided to do was build a course calendar to create essentially reminders. They won't get pinged anything, but they can always look at this course calendar and go, what do I have on this week? So that's a good couple of examples of those. So here we have things like, this is their monthly in class test, and it's got some information on it um, and the time that it will become available. We've got pre-practical video opens for all. So it's just reminders that everyone can do this. Uh, Post-practical quiz, for practical attendees because you can only do the post-practical quiz if you were an attendee there and again it has just the time that it's available but if they have looked at the coursework description they know that it will be available for five days because then after this point the practical portfolio closes at 5 p.m. so it's to remind them at four o'clock on that last day of this particular chapter that they've got an hour left to do their assessment now that's just one month as we skip through months, again, you have the same pattern throughout, the same one all the time, but it can be difficult for them to manage. Now, the thing here becomes, what if they don't look at the assessment calendar? We know that students aren't fantastic at setting their notifications appropriately, or at least the majority. We know that not everybody uses the multiple systems that we have in a synergistic way. So there's a very simple way to help students with this. And this is the part where hopefully now my students are listening. If you scroll down, on the course calendar all the way to the bottom because it has all the modules that you are involved in so I've been involved in a lot of modules as a member of staff and I can toggle on and off various modules at the moment so for example if we add on couple here just to show you that now hopefully a couple more events for different modules have appeared so now we're already demonstrating there is additional stuff for students to do and it can be hard to keep track of what's what and when. Now, if you click on this button here, get external calendar link, you can copy this. So we'll do control C. And now I'm going to show you how you can add it to Outlook as a separate calendar. 
It won't show that you are busy during those times. It makes them just a calendar for reminders. Same kind of thing as I do with family events so that I know that there are things I have to do, but they're not things that I want to show that I am busy and therefore I can't have a meeting or something similar. So I keep that as a separate calendar. And I'll show you how I do that now. So now we've copied this. If we jump to my Outlook and I've turned off my other calendar. Now if I do Add Calendar and click on Subscribe from Web, I then do Control V, call this Assessment Calendar, give it a different color, let's make this one red, and then Import. And now we've got successfully imported Assessment Calendar. Okay, so now we can go back here and in other calendars, you can toggle it on and off so that it doesn't show as being too cluttered. But here is every assessment for all of those calendars within Blackboard. Now, of course, because I am involved in modules across levels, it will show every assessment for every module that I'm involved in, in the current time frame. For a student, this wouldn't be as unwieldy and unmanageable. There would only be the assessments for the modules that you're doing. And for the most part, this would only be four to six modules in a year. You wouldn't see all the reasonable adjustments. You would only see the submissions and the tests and the reminders that have been added to that course calendar, either by the system, by it being part of a, um, a larger submission, a fixed time point that's going into the student record system, or indeed ones that your module leader have added themselves, such as the reminders that I've done for this. So that's a good way of bringing in information for your assessments that staff can create to make assessment timelines more manageable. And of course, the main thing is a way of bringing that into Outlook so that you have a way, a one-stop shop of looking at your assessment deadlines and reminders, as well as your emails and appointments and your teaching timetable. I hope you found that useful. See you again soon.